quick reminder of the rules to this challenge and let's see what's in store for us today. Do you know what? I honestly, I don't mean to jinx this, but I think this is like the best start to a RimWorld that I've ever had, which is quite funny because I've decided to like record this and everything, but comment down below, what is the luckiest you've ever got into a game? Now we're just going to quickly set up the research and get solar panels off because we've got, we're in the desert, so really we need to be getting solar panels. But yeah, comment down below, what's the luckiest you ever got in a game, recording a video, anything like that, I'd be really, really interested to know. So batteries are up, and to be honest, we're absolutely thriving. It might not be the busiest of Bumblebee episodes, we do need to um, accept that quest, um, which we are low on food, so it'll be really, really handy, because there's no wildlife actually... Here they won't attack us back. Crops are coming along quite nicely. So yeah, so it's not going to be the busiest of bees of episodes. I do want to move our base eventually. Uh, fridge is still working. Do you know what? We haven't got power at the minute. But what? Because the idea is obviously these batteries are going to store the energy that that windmill does during the night. And then, so the, the slight bits of downtimes, as I stutter through my sentences, the slight bit of downtimes are going to, you know, come back. Uh, I've got two idolist colonists. Is there anything I can do about that? Not really. Um, no, I'll just leave with that. Um, we can set up some mining, I guess. Got a lot of steel. We could be doing more with steel. Um, yeah, I think we're in a nice situation. Defences is going to be, well, is my main, main concern. Because um, if we get attacked, we're in trouble. The only good thing is all four of our people have guns. Oh, transport pod. Uh, the problem is, is they're like friend. They actually like us. So if we capture this person, they won't like us. And that's really not a faction you want to annoy. So we will just leave that. Because I'm not wasting medicine to save someone that won't join us or anything and to be fair we were lucky getting kim early on and getting up to four people do you know what i mean considering this is on the hardest difficulty on randy random we've definitely been more than lucky now don't get me wrong i fully expect this run to come to an end at some point and when it does i expect you all to be like do you remember in episode blah when you said this was easy? Um, some raccoons. Just says a ran a raccoon. Hopefully, there's more than one because I'm thinking because we'll kill it. We will. We will accept this quest. I just want people to sleep through the night and then wake them up in the morning or the morning ish. So we're really accepting this at the last minute. But hopefully we can kill a couple of these. Just check the social skills. I'm pretty sure it is Hell, but Hell's got a passion for it. Yeah, Hell's got a passion for it. We'll just check the others. Kim's got three, but I'd rather give it to the... Because we're going to get a um, Psychic Amplifier. So whoever accepts this gets a title to their name. And they have to be the one that uses the Psychic Amplifier. Or it pisses off that faction. So we don't really want that. Okay, two, that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna use this royalty person that's asked for help as bait um, while the other four shoot because I'd rather him get bit because I imagine he's gonna get bit by the raccoon. Um, so I'd rather him get bit by one than my colonist because I don't really want to have to deal with that. What we'll do is when they get closer, then we'll get everyone up, shut, start shooting. You can see all the abilities at the bottom as I quickly grab everyone. Should be fairly easy, especially with that royalty person just to play bait, so to speak. Like I'm not too too concerned by this Eddie thing. It could have been pretty tragic if we'd have got like five or six. Don't know if Randy can do that to you in quests though sure so they're going to stand here just checking their range and they're going to shoot at the raccoons while we run this person left to right basically 
hope this works. Okay, that's one raccoon down really, really quickly. Oh god, I shot him. <laughs> Do you remember when I said he'll get he'll definitely get bit by a raccoon? No, he'll definitely get shot in the face by one of my guys. I hope he doesn't die. Can I get all these to shoot the iguana? No, oh, they're all out of range and I can't be bothered to worry about that, so. Stop that, get back to work. Um, so he's got to get back into this shuttle. And then when he flies off into safety, then we get the psychic amplifier. Yep, no, he definitely got shot. He's only bleeding. Oh God, let's just ignore. Ignore that. I love the idea that he goes back to his place and he's like, yeah, no, I nearly got injured by some raccoons. And I asked these people to help me. What did they do? They shot me. I'm not going to be honest, it's not my finest moment, but it's a mo Oh, so you use that psychic amplifier and you got stunned. That's really good. So if anything's like running towards us, we can do just that and just stun them in place. That's a really, really good ability. Sometimes you get like starting ones that are like pain threshold, which you don't really want. I don't want my guys getting hit at all, to be honest. Though RimWorld's not really a game you can play not wanting characters get like shot at or hurt and stuff like that. It's just what is going to happen. Right, the crops are getting harvested. That's really, really cool. Kim's cooking, really important. Batteries actually have some power. So while the windmill isn't actually generating any fun, the batteries are being able to make up for that. But you know what? Really, really chuffed with this. I know it's only a little base, just really, really chuffed. Uh, we'll just haul that rubbish out in there. I'm thinking about putting concrete everywhere. Just to make the floors a little bit more... It says it's quite ugly. I wonder if it's more pretty than just the normal floor. And to be fair, we've got all this steel, so we will. Might change to pave. So, no, we probably won't. Yeah, no, just concrete, because we're not going to be here for ages. We want to move down below and we'll probably start doing that next episode because the plan is because we've got all these limestone blocks and granite blocks that will probably up at some point and get a few more saved up so then we can build the initial buildings out of limestone and then the defenses out of granite but as i said before i want a couple of walls so i want um, the middle of the base and then a wall and then the outer base with the less important buildings. And then another wall because um, the enemy can throw, or the game can throw like sappers at you. And basically they go through defences. So it would be really good to be able to get a couple of walls up. So if they do get through a couple of walls, it's no big deal. We've still got stuff to fall back on. Because I fully expect Randy Random to chuck all sorts of rubbish at us. Because that's the thing with random. Like, we're very lucky to be lucky. And when this luck runs out, we're in trouble. So I forgot how much steel and stuff was in this. Because that's where I wanted to move down to. I'm just setting up mining jobs. I don't want anyone not to be busy. And we're at a point of peace, which is weird. Uh, steel walls. Oh, thousand mills. Nice, nice, nice. Always got to check your maps. So sometimes I'm really lazy with that, to be honest. Because, you know, you can starve to death, but because their meals are disallowed, they won't go over and take them. But yeah, I think the only thing that... the f Like, the fridge door setup isn't the best. It's very slow to get through. The kitchen should have been probably a dining room. The only other thing we can do is mine into the hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it, and the opposite side of the fridge builds the dining room there. I like that idea. Because really we want the dining room off where the fridge is. So we don't want them to keep coming this long way around. Because otherwise they're going to the fridge, they're going through the stockpile, and then they're going into the bedroom or to eat at a table, which really isn't um, optimal. 
I want it to be as optimal as possible. I think we probably will just move. Can't think about putting a door there, but then everyone would just use that. Still thinking about moving there. The problem is, is that it's all that steel to mine. So the idea is I wanted to use that mountain as the defense so I didn't have to build one big wall. I think I probably will. We'll just see what they have to trade because you never know. I imagine nothing because they just looks like tribes people. Yeah, sadly nothing. Smoke pot belt, what's that? Okay, an automatic single-use defensive smoke screen. Yeah, probably just ignore that to be honest. That sounds quite... um advanced for someone that looks like a tribe person but would assume he um, killed someone for it dun 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 yeah not a bad little base I'm not fully happy with that corridor though the two doors leading into the fridge the way it's done I think what will probably it's just whether I want to move or not Thing is, start going into the mountain. The ancient danger is there. But you never know. The sappers might come at me through the ancient. Oh, God. No, I think we might stay here. The more I'm thinking about it, we might stay here. Because if we move the coolers up, then we can get two ways into the fridge. Get the dining room into the mountain, up the opposite side. What's your problem? Alcohol withdrawal. I forgot about alcohol. Because, yeah, because um, the challenge we started, obviously, quite random. Um, that person started with an alcohol addiction, and I totally forgot about it. Um, oh God, that's not good. <laughs> that's fine. We're just going to ignore it. Solar panels are done. We research really quickly. Well, I really, really chuffed at that. Don't really know what we're going to research next. Um, that's fine. It's nice the hell is um, doing some tailoring. Oh, kittens lost the plot. Going around destroying everything, battering the walls. Which is annoying because then we have to spend the time to actually repair them afterwards. As long as it um, doesn't break the tailor station again, that was annoying. and you have to manually put it up and build it again. Oh, I just continue to mine you because we're in like a chill sort of state at the moment. Extreme break risk. That would be kitten though coming out of that last break. Um, I like it. This isn't how this game normally goes. Like, guys, if you've played this, like, I don't know why Randy's being so kind to me. Like, this is the hardest difficulty. <laughs> But do you know what? We are going to take it. Like, I'm hoping he's just got pity for me. That's what we're going to go with. Yeah, we will put um, an animal sleeping spot for Tease, our monkey. Because Tease keeps sleeping in the fridge and outside. And, you know, we're all one big fa happy family here. So in for a penny, out for a pound. Kittens repairing all the damage that she made, which is lovely. Got tons of steel though. This map is actually ripe for steel. Got another cowboy hat, which is cool. We're all sort of equipped. The only thing that'll be nice is um, when we can all get dusters up, because at least that will help with the heat as well. I mean, it's not scorching, but it's 32 degrees. And what do we want to research? Hydroponics? No. Drug production? No. Devil's Strand? Is Devil Heat resistant. So, heat resistant. Does that mean it's just... Might have to um, Google that. Because that sounds like it would be good for... I don't know. 
Uh, auto doors could also be good. Doors opening quicker. Um, so the thing is, I really do like these trees because we might just go smithing and then I'll read up about Devil Strand because if Devil Strand is what I think it is and then we can make like dusters that are more heat resistant and stuff like that then that sounds like what we need, especially in the desert. Um, but I might have to Google up about that. be nice when our cotton plants were all done. That would be awesome. Because then we can build tons of clothes. Yeah, we will up these while I remember. Because if we do make that initial move, we are going to want a lot more blocks. Especially limestone. Wind turbines going crazy in the storm because we're in a dry thunderstorm. Things I'm in the desert, so I know like random fires aren't going to go off because obviously it's all sand. But it still gets me nervous every time I see like a lightning bolt strike the ground. Yeah, I do have to check just for my own. I don't want to say it, then like, it does actually happen. For the only way that's going to happen is if it hits our crops. Yeah, see, that would be nice to start a base in this little bit. Oh god, what's happened? I can't even... Oh, her liver. Oh no. Is that liver failure? Is there a way I can find it? Oh no. So that means she's got more pain, so her mood is going to go down. Her movement is also gone down because of the pain. Jeez. It's funny how you get the liver damage after you stop drinking milk. Oh, and look at that, a lightning bolt hit our plants. Um, why is no one running over to do it? Guys? Okay, I'm going to have to manually tell them. Do it. That was weird. Normally, like, your characters will just get up and... I wonder if it just hasn't been long enough, but that's fine. We'll tell them to do it. I forgot Kitten is incapable of firefighting. To be fair, three characters is more than enough to deal with that. It's not a big fire. Just don't want to lose too many crops from it. I think we lost a couple from the looks of it, but... Could have been worse, could have been worse. Oh, well, we can even see there's some gold in our stockpile now, so that's nice. You can even make stuff out of gold or just sell it. But silver's the currency. Right. 